Praise the Lord. Shalom. Thank you for joining with me. My dear children of God, greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We all love Psalms. As I said, Psalms are part of Christian life. Many times we start reading Psalms. But why do we read Psalms? There should be reason for reading Psalms. We will not just read like that. Many people are spending their most of time reading, meditating, pondering in the book of Psalms. Today we are going to look at the reasons that we are going to know why we are going to read it. So reasons to read the Psalms. So what do you think? What are the reasons that you are coming to read the, the Psalms? Sometimes as we start reading, many of our questions are being answered. Yes, many of our questions being answered. Sometimes when you read Bible or read Psalms, the Psalmists themselves raise the questions like this. Like, who am I? Who am I? Why I am? No, some when we read Psalm, no, in Psalm 8 we see, why am I here? So, why am I here? The question, who I am? Is my life valuable? Says Psalm 139. So, and also why do good things happen to bad people? This is Psalm 73. And how can I be happy? Psalm 1. So, all these kinds of questions are being answered in that Psalm only. So, when you and me, when I tell you something, uh, my dear sister, my dear brother, why you are going through all these troubles, you may not agree what I say. But when you read Bible, when the psalmist raises his question, brings to God and asks God, who am I? Why am I here? What shall I do to be happy? Why only good people are so no, happy? All these questions being answered in the Bible. So, the reason we study Bible sometime, the answers to our questions. That is the main thing. The second thing just I wanted to share with you, that is, if you do not know how to pray, many of us, when we come to God, we do not know the right perspective of approaching God. We do not know how to call God. We do not know how to pray to God. But when psalmists write something, psalmists start writing, they start praying to God. Yes, we know the Holy Spirit helps us to pray. Even in the psalms, Holy Spirit was present. He was present from the beginning, even in the time of psalms, and even now he is present. Holy Spirit only helped them to pray. So the reason we want to read the Psalms to know how to pray. The first thing we learn, our questions being answered. And second thing, we will know how to pray. And the third point is, we will know how to worship the Lord. Yes, we do not know how to worship the Lord, but wonder of worship we know from psalms because the psalmists they start worshiping the lord now with courage with intellectual wisdom they start worshiping the lord some of them have sinned but again they came back to god and they started worshiping when david was in dark cave he started worshiping Amidst turmoil, he start worshipping. And we realize that too. We too, when we are going through in turmoil, in questions, you know, in, in difficult times, we also do not know how to worship the Lord properly. But even when he was in dark cave, 
he worshiped the lord when he was surrounded by enemies he started worshiping the lord when he was left alone he was you no know, feeling like orphan he was worshiping the lord in the same way when we start reading psalms we also understand that we also worship by reading psalms and when we read psalms we also start praising we know that psalms are praise and worship and many song writers they are inspired by psalms they take you no know, very good you no know, verses from the psalms and they start singing psalms themselves are songs only but many song writers like hymn writers and song writers they are inspired by the word of god especially the book of psalms my dear children of god not only that when we read psalms if we say that we understand ourselves more clearly we understand ourselves more clearly sometimes when i say something to you you may not agree you may not agree but when you in yourself read psalms then you understand who you are and then you agree because the word of god spoke to you so as you start reading psalms you will understand yourself sometimes we put ourselves in the place of david korah moses solomon and other people you know the person who has gone through so many problems was neglected by own family not loved by own family all these things are being comforted and helped us to learn about ourselves and to know how to come to god each day that is another reason why we read psalms each day at least when we start reading one psalm short psalm one day and a big psalm two three days 150 psalms almost half a year it will be covered so half a year it will, we will take to complete so every the psalms when we read psalms the psalms helps us to come to god every day so today i have read psalm 1 let me read psalm 2 okay i could not finish let me read 3 okay let me read again 3 4 5 like that psalm by psalm we read by the time we finish 150 psalms at least 200 days it will be taken but it's children of god so also to know no to be forgiven of your sins it is written in the bible only it is not my words to be forgiven yes we read psalm 52 a beautiful forgiveness psalms david king david asked lord forgive me so when you want to be forgiven there are bible psalms when you want to understand yourself there are psalms you want to know how to pray there are psalms you want to worship the lord there are psalms you want to get answers for your questions there are psalms so when we are when we feel worth worthless the psalms will comfort us to understand why you should read the bible you will get the answer there to praise god to know that god is in control to give thanks to god to please god do you know how to please god you do not know then read psalms then you will understand and to know why you should worship god you know the answer so when we turn to bible the bible gives us so many reasons why we should read psalms i hope these points are not mine they are from the bible so i believe today what you have you know just watched has benefited you they will remain in your heart and soul how to pray how to praise how to worship the lord how to know yourself how to get answers to you how to know that you are worth to god how to ask forgiveness all these things are being answered my dear children of god will you start reading your book of psalms today onwards just start reading they will speak to your heart 
and they will console you comfort you and teach you while you are reading the psalms thank you so much for joining with me i believe you will join next videos also thank you praise the lord